everybody. Uh, hey. Thanks for joining us. Um, this is the show and tell show with the Penetanguishing Centennial Museum staff, Nicole and Jan. Hi. And we are from Heronia Museum. This is Genevieve Carter, our curator. My name is Nahani Bourne. And we decided it'd be fun to every week just kind of show our community something cool from our collection based on a certain theme. And this week's theme is the letter N, something from the collection that begins with the letter N, because Nicole's name begins with N and so does mine. So we thought N was cool. Anyway, in order to decide who goes first, we're going to have a quick game of rock, paper, scissors between Genevieve and Jan. So off you go. Jan. Hey. Jan, you have to play rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> scissors. You got scissors? I rock? am. I'm not waving my arm high enough. Can we cut this out? Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. If you had scissors and Genevieve had rock, Genevieve okay. goes first. I'm looking down at you guys and I'm up here. Okay. <laughs> I had scissors. <laughs> All right. So what I brought in is a nest egg. And a nest egg, it's a piece of, it's a ceramic, a hollow ceramic egg, a bit like an Easter egg. And it's used by farmers or anyone who keeps chickens. And it was put in a chicken's nest or in your nesting box in the coop. And it encourages chickens, or hens rather, to uh, lay their eggs in the box or the nest. So when a girl sees her this sitting in her nest, then she knows that that's a good place to uh, lay her egg. And uh, instead of in the yard or in the coop or on the floor or under a bush, or in the hay bales. So Very go. good. Never heard of such a thing. That's a new one for me. Yeah. Neither had I, um, but they're still used. Apparently you can buy them still new uh, on poultry websites and Amazon even carries them. So. so when you get your chickens for the backyard jam, you're gonna need Yes. Those. Yes, right. I must remember that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Penetanguishing Centennial Museum, what have you got? Jan, I, I hear you guys have two things. Trying, they're already out doing us. Okay, what do you got? Well, mine we couldn't resist, um, but anyway, it's, just, it's a quick one. So what I have here is a pair of 1915 breastfeeding nipple guards, nipple shields. Mm. Okay. So these ones are made out of glass. You can see there's a hole here to where appropriate, you know, so it fits right. <laughs> and it would collect all the excess milk that might leak out during the day. And there's a little hole in the top here. So you want to make sure you're not wearing it upside down. Oh. This is the draining hole. So um, if you had glass ones, uh, you were probably a lower class women, woman. Uh, the upper class women had theirs made out of silver. Um, earlier in time, uh, they had them made out of a variety of things such as uh, wood, um, animal horn, and if you had like an abscess or a sore, you might choose to wear a lead one because it was believed that the lead was healing. So you'd have your baby's milk filtering out through this lead oh, nipple oh. shield. Yeah. Yeah, so I just thought it was an interesting little item and um, contoured, so to look natural. And uh, yeah, That's so really an neat. interesting item that we couldn't resist sharing. I'd never heard of those. No. That's neat. Wow. Terrifying. Yes. And terrifying. <laughs> and terrifying. Yes, women in the past did not have things easy. Thank yeah. God now ours are a little night more comfortable, but yeah. yes. yes. Yeah. Nicole, what have you got? So my item was um, too large for me actually to show here today. So that's why we decided to go with two because Jan could show you something much smaller. And mine, um, I will insert a picture so you can see it. And it is a picture, a wooden sign for Nettleton's Jewelry Store. And that was a store on our main street. And it opened in 1901. And interesting thing about the store is that it has only been a jewelry store. So 1901, Nettleton's opened the jewelry store at 66 Main Street. In 1949, he sold it to Bryan's, and now they are still opened as a jewelry store in the same spot. 
And if you notice, there is a little um, laneway right beside the store called Nettleton Lane, and it was named after the first owner. And so I thought it was a nice little artifact to show off from Penetangshin, especially to encourage everybody to shop on their main street during uh, the Christmas season. That's right. Or you can also shop at your local museum gift shop. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. So what's, that's awesome, but what's our topic for next week? What do we have to find in our collection? It's your turn to challenge us. All right, Jan, you want to share it? I will share it. What we are challenging you to do for next week is to find something that plugs in. And we will do the same. Okay. All right. For us, right? Usually they're quite old. You don't have to plug something in at the museum. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. We just recommend you don't plug it in to demonstrate it for us. Yes. No, 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 we won't do that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. So that's our show and tell show for this week. Awesome guys. We'll see you next week. Okay. Same time. All same right. you later. Bye. 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 Bye.